Hello, welcome to our today's class. Uh, we have an example here, and our example we have a uh, trial balance, and we have uh, questions what we are required to do. And first one is we are required to prepare income statement for the year ended that first September 2021, and uh, the second part is prepare statement of financial position as at 31st September 2021. We have already prepared the statement, uh, the income statement in our previous video. You just uh, check the the link below. You'll find our previous video where we explain about the income statement and we prepared our income statement. Today we will prepare the second part of uh, the of this question or this example. That is a st statement of financial position as at 31st September 2021. So from the trial balance, remember we say trial balance, it is the statement which assists in the preparation of the final statement. And here we have it. We have all the figures as you can see here. So we will use these figures that are here and able to prepare our statement of financial position using the equation that we know. We said there is an equation that we follow that we say that uh, assets is equal to capital plus liabilities. So we will use that equation to prepare our statement of financial position. So let's let's get started. So we have on this other side we have uh, on already a structure a template that we can can assist us in the preparation of the uh, statement of financial position the first thing you start is the title and uh, we have seen here this uh, is a trial balance of Pasco or Pascal and that's what we have on this side Pascal trader statement of financial position as at September 20 21. So we'll start with now making entries in this uh, structure so that we can have a balanced statement of financial position. Remember I said a uh, statement of financial position must balance at the end. So let us start. Uh, we'll start with the first bit that is the asset bit. So we'll start asset and we begin with an current asset. We have already explained how you prepare uh, this statement in our previous video. So check our previous video as well. You will get how the structure already prepared, an already structure for you on how to prepare a statement of financial position. So let's start. We start with the non-current assets. Current assets. Then... Um, Remember, when you have adjustments of non-current assets, the first column is usually for the cost value of the non-current asset. The, the center column is about accumulated depreciation of that asset. Then um, the third column is the net book value. In our case here, the only additional information we have is the closing stock. So we will not have any adjusted non-current asset. So we will reserve this for today, then we'll use the net book value as uh, our uh, column for the non-current asset. So let us check in our trail balance whether we have non-current asset with us that we can transfer to our structure. So just go down and check and check and check. Yes, the first one I can see here it is a premises amounting to. 50,000. So I'll start with premises. Premises. The final column, as I've said, 50,000. Then we have uh, what else? We have motor vehicles. Motor vehicles. Motor vehicles amounting to 18,000. What else do we have here? We have fixture and fittings. 
this here fixture and fittings amounting to 3500 fittings amounting to 3500 do you have any other data this is um current asset so that's what we have for the for the non-current assets so we can first of all get the total of the non-current asset so the total amount to 71,500 so we are done with non-current asset and remember assets or net asset is given by uh, non-current assets you add to net current assets and we said net current assets are given by current assets you subtract current liabilities so down here we'll go to the current assets assets so we begin and our first current assets do we have uh, we can start with the debtors debtors amount to 38 and, and debtors amounting to so this one can put it to in the first column uh, so that we can adjust it with the current liabilities that is in the in the in the aim of finding the net current assets so debtors amount to that eight thousand nine hundred sixty so that eight thousand nine hundred and sixty then what else do we have we have uh already we have a stock here twenty nine thousand four hundred sixty so we have stock stock mounting to twenty nine thousand four hundred and sixty yeah so then do we have any other thing can check here yeah, no, no. cash at bank yeah cash at, cash at bank amounting to 4820 cash at bank amounting to 4820 so i think i've, I've exhausted on uh, the current assets so now I can move on to the current liability so they can adjust it uh, from the current assets. But before then, then me first first of all, let's have the total of the current uh, assets. So we have a total of 73,240. So that's the total of the current assets. And uh, we can move it to the other side so that you can adjust the current liability. So 73,240. There's nothing I've done. I've just uh, moved it to that column so that it can be easy to adjust the current liabilities, which I'm um, just to include here and adjust it from the current assets liabilities. So current liabilities, what do we have here is current liabilities. We have um, we have creditors, creditors, we have creditors amounting to seventeen thousand three hundred and ten, three hundred and ten. Sorry, we can write uh, 310. We can copy this from this. Um, can cut it here and you put it here so that you can adjust it. And uh, when you put it here, we can put it in a bracket so that it, uh, it can uh, have the meaning that we are reducing it from from the current assets. <clears throat> so from that figure there uh, then uh, we can adjust it and what you'll get here I don't think we have any other let me see whether we have any other current liabilities 
another current liability can be maybe a short term loan that's loan that the uh, prepayment period is less than one year and uh, we don't have that so we only have the creditors as our current liability so let's uh, find the the value of now the adjustment here it's adjustment from the total we found from the current assets you subtract this bracket mean you are subtracting uh, the, the creditors that is current liabilities and what you get here it is net current asset net current assets and uh, net current assets amount to so if you subtract uh, 17,000 from um, 17,310 from 73 you will get 55,000 900 and 30 so that is our net current assets now we know that our net asset is given by non current assets the figure you found here you earned to the figure you have found here of net current assets so by so we can move our 55000 which is net current asset to this that column so that we can uh, sum it or we can add it to the non current asset to get what we call the net assets so net assets will be from this adjustment so we can move this to this side here 55930 we just moved it to that side to adjust it with our net or non current asset so and you'll get a now a total from the that is what we call the the side of net assets or this this side the assets so that can remain with the other so this side we have a total of 127,430 so this amount here let me first of all I underline this then I, I need to, to double underline uh, the answer here so that it can this ought to be checking whether it can balance with what we are preparing on the side of capital and long-term liabilities or the non-current liabilities so we are done with the side of the assets since we have found our net assets so let's go to the other side of capital plus uh, non current liabilities uh, since we have already dealt with the current liabilities so we can start with capital our capital capital can be adjusted from we know uh, the factors that affect all those uh, account that affect the capital one is profit that's net profit or, or a loss the other one is either we have drawings or we have investment drawings reduces the amount of capital investment increases the amount of capital profit increases the amount of capital and loss it does uh, what what does it is it reduces the amount of capital one we had the net profit from our previous video where we prepared the income statement that was in our question one we found uh, our profit we never found a loss we found a profit so we have to earn that profit in our capital so you have to earn and a net profit and this one you'll get it from from uh, from from income statement so if i may put here from income statement or pnl pnl account profit and loss account from pnl from pnl account and uh, we found the amount that was for the net profit we found the uh, our net profit amounted to 13000 and uh, 70 then the capital on our side here it is amounting to 126 360 so we have our capital 
we are not included here, sorry, 126,360. Then adjustment to the capital, one is the profit that we are adding and we found, just confirm with our previous video where we prepared the income statement and uh, it was 13,070. Then the other adjustment uh, to the capital, it can be drawings if it is there. Yes, I can find it here. We have drawings amounting to 12,000. So drawings amounting to 12,000. And this one we are supposed to uh, uh, subtract it from the capital. You said it, it, uh, it have the effect of reducing the amount of capital so that's supposed to be subtracted from the capital so from there we can get the the total from the capital so that we can now go to the non-current as uh, non-current liabilities if they are there so uh, what do you have here do we have a non-current liability or we have this we can check even before we do the submission here we can check whether you have non-current liability do we have a loan i'm checking whether we have a loan but we don't have so that means that whatever you have here in our capital, you earn net profit, then uh, you subtract drawings, it must balance with what we found as net asset. And if you check the calculator, you'll find that it balances that our 126, our capital, which is 126,360, added to our profit we found in our income settlement amounting to 13,070. And from there, you subtract drawings from the from that uh, total you'll get 127,430 so that amount resembles the one that is on that is on top here that is on net asset and this shows us that our balance sheet or settlement of financial position is well prepared and uh, it balances so that's how you prepare statement of financial position and uh, hope it is helpful to assist you in your studies and uh, subscribe to our channel so that whenever you have we have something new or a new lesson you'll be the first person to be notified so that you can benefit from that thank you very much Remember to like, comment, 